Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. I will be showing you today how to install Reshade 4.3. That's the version of Reshade that's actually working in photo mode right now. So you can have that the field and all that kind of stuff in photo mode, just like we used to. It's amazing. I will also be showing three different presets that I've been making. Uh, there's one that's a basic preset, just like to get you started with some basic effects that I like to use. There's an autumn one and then there's a winter one. But before I get into the presets, I'm going to be showing you how to install Reshade 4.3. If you've never used Reshade before, this might be a little bit confusing for you. So if you need further help, I recommend either checking out my friend Yes Northwood's videos or you can join our Discord server, the Star Stable Photography Center. There we have a bunch of help channels for specifically Reshade where you can ask for help. We have presets, tutorials, and we also have a bunch of other fun channels like a monthly challenge, creator of the month, and you can use chat if you want, share your pictures, uh, a bunch of fun stuff. So check it out if you're not in the server already. If you already know how to install Reshade 4.3 and you're only here for the presets, then you can just check the chapters below. I have a section, the video off in different chapters, so you can skip on ahead to when it says I start talking about the presets. So let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so to download version 4.3 of Reshade, you just have to go to the link that's in the description and also in the Discord server. Um, and you will find this. You just press Reshade 4.0. And then if you look a little bit down here, you see 4.3.0. You click on that. And then you get this Mediafire download. You just download. And there you will have it. Once it's downloaded, all you have to do is run the file. So you can click on it. And then you will have to click here, select Gain to install to. And then you have to find Star Stable. So that's usually under your computer, Windows C drive, uh, Program x86, and then Star Stable Online. And then you have to go into client and then you will find SSO client and that's the file that you want to install on. You just click on that and then choose open GL. Click yes and then we start downloading. When you get this list of effects you just click ok because these are a bunch of like uh, basic effects that uh, you might want. So just click ok. And there you have it, it will now be installed to Star Stable. The next thing you need to do to get the effects that you want is you want to go to this other link uh, with the drive folders. Uh, it contains all the effects and textures from Reshade 4.9. So you can go in here and see all the textures. And then if you go back and go to shaders, this is all the effects. So from here you can basically pick any effect that you want. Uh, if you used Reshade before you probably know a few ones that you used. Uh, if you want to check if they're already in uh, the Reshade program, you just go to your Star Stable client folder and then you go to Reshade shaders. It will create a folder for you and then you go to shaders and this is a list of all the current shaders that you have in your game. So you can see, for example, you already have Adaptive Fog, Bloom, there's a bunch of different ones. So you can check here first uh, what you have. So if you want to add an effect, just download it, then copy the file and paste it into that same folder that I just showed you and it will show up in the game. Then you just want to start up your game. And if everything worked, you will see in the top, it says Reshade 4.3.0. Uh, Reshade is now installed successfully. So that's how you know that everything worked as it should. So now you're in the game and you just need to set up Reshade. It's really easy. You press the home button on your keyboard. 
and then you just have to click through the tutorial but when you get to this part you have to go to edit preprocessor definitions and you have to change so all these three are zero otherwise the effects won't work properly and finish and now you have reshade so you can see here I can get the fog I can get all kinds of fun effects and then I also have these that I installed that are specific so I can for example get Adolf here there we go I just changed Adolf a little bit so it's actually working um, and then I can have like canvas fog I can have the reflections in the ground everything that I installed so there's a few things to keep in mind with this version of Reshade. It's a little bit buggy, not perfect. Uh, first of all, it works best in full screen mode. If you have window mode, then the effects may not lay on the game properly. Especially if you use depth of field and that kind of stuff. Uh, it will look really weird. So do keep in mind if it looks weird, you might need to switch to full screen mode. Something that's really awesome about this version is that you can actually play with reflections on and it will still work. So you can have the pretty water and it's no problem. Something to keep in mind though is that if you play with reflections on then the effects may lag a little bit if you tab out in the end of the game. It's not a big problem because you can fix it and I will show you how. So right here you see that the effects have lagged, uh, it looks really weird and it's not following what's actually happening in the game. So super easy fix for this, you just go into your settings, go to reflections, turn off and on and voila it works again. Another way to reset if your game isn't working properly for some reason, like the effects are being weird and it doesn't work to turn reflections on and off or vice versa, is you can go into the same area and then you change from full screen mode to window mode and then back. And that will reload all the effects and that usually fixes any issue. A tip of mine is to play with reflections off, because if you have reflections off, then it won't lag with the effects when you tab out of the game and back in. Uh, of course, that's personal preference. I'm someone who tabs out of the game like all the time, so for me it's annoying to have to fix it. Uh, so I just have it off and then I can turn it on if I want a pretty water for a picture. Um, so if you're like me, that's just a tip, but you can also play with reflections on all the time if you want, if you don't tap out of the game a lot, uh, or maybe you have multiple monitors. If it stops working in photo mode, that happened to me a few times, uh, all you have to do usually is just restart your game and it should fix itself. Uh, I've also had it happen where it started working again after a little bit, so it's a little bit buggy, but I mean, it works. Alright, so that was the basics of installing Reshade, and now I will be showing you my presets. But before I do that, I will quickly show you how you actually download the presets and add them into the game. So, to get my presets to work, there are two things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is to install the effects that are needed for the presets. I have actually made a drive folder for this to make it easy for you. So just follow the link in the description and then you will see preset effects. And I have added all the effects that you will need for this to work. If you only want to use the basic preset, then you only need the quint effects. If you want to use autumn or winter, then you will need all these effects. So the easiest thing to do is just to download this whole folder and add it to your shaders uh, folder, like I showed you earlier. Then to get the presets, you just go into presets and here you will find the three different ones. So you can just download one if you want or all of them. So if I want a basic preset, then I will just download this. 
and then I will go to my folder here where I have all the reshade files and it's just so simple you just drag it into that folder and voila it is there so all the ones with the little wheel on it those are different presets that you have in your game just add them in there and then when you launch the game next time they should be in the list so to get the presets to work in the game it's super simple you just press home to open up reshade click on this little list and here you will see all the different presets that you have added in the game or made yourself so if i want the basic preset i will click on that and if i want the winter preset i will click here if i want the autumn preset i will click here super simple in mind that presets may not look uh, great in all areas of Jorvik. For example, the winter preset looks great in Silverglade, uh, not as great if you go to Golden Hills. So just keep that in mind that you might want to adjust the settings a bit. So these presets can also be used if you just want to play in a winter or autumn environment. But I recommend that you make a few changes. So for example, if you want to play in winter, I would recommend you turn off of, uh, it off. Uh, and then it's kind of up to you if you want to like turn down the brightness, if you want to get away with the depth haze, it might be best, I don't know. Uh, it's up to you, but then you can play around with the winter effect and yeah, you just pretend it's winter in your week. Same thing goes for the autumn preset. Uh, you just turn off ADOF and I recommend turning off SSR as well because it's a very heavy effect. Uh, but other than that, you can ride around with this. Uh, if you don't want it to be so light in the background, you can turn off um, adaptive fog and canvas fog and depth haze. Uh, but I don't think it looks quite as good personally. Uh, but it's up to you. So then you can also ride around and play with the autumn feeling. I personally love this preset. Uh, I think it's super cozy. I'm actually super satisfied with it. Um, it's the one that I'm the most proud of. So I really hope you guys will enjoy it. Alright, that was all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and if you like my presets then please please let me know. It would make me super happy if you leave a comment or like this video. Um, if you use my presets for your pictures then I would be super happy if you want to tag me on Instagram or just show me your pictures in the server or something. Uh, it would be really fun to see what you guys create. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!